Hey there and welcome to our tips and tricks video. Today, we're gonna to talk about importing your assets to Adobe Premiere. Now, before you start your import, it's important to organize all your media. File management is crucial when it comes to editing. As you can see, all my media is organized into each folder, and then inside those are subfolders for my audio and video clips. This is super important, and we're gonna to touch on this a little bit later. There are several different ways you can import footage into Adobe Premiere. First, the simple drag and drop method, which is simply open up your finder or explore where your footage is located. Now, my folder has subfolders inside of it, which is perfectly okay too, because if you drag and drop the main folder, as you can see, it imports the subfolders as well with each of those audio and video clips already organized inside there. Another method is simply just clicking on the project window and importing the footage. So for here, we have our project window, import media to start. I can just right click and I can go ahead and click on import. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and find where my footage is at so I can import files individually and click the import button and that imports my file individually, or if I right click in here, so if I just wanna import my folder full of audio clips, I can click on that and import that as well. And there you have the folder already organized with all your audio clips inside of it. Another method is going up through File, Import. If you click on that, this will take you to your folder. You can click on each individual clips, or you can click on a folder and select Import. Another way to import is using keyboard shortcuts. If you're using a Mac computer, it's Command-I. If you're using a Windows computer, it's Control-I. Let's see what that looks like. By pressing Control-I, it brings up your Finder or Explorer, and you can go ahead and find those clips that you want to import, select them, the folders, or the individual clips, and collect Import. Once your footage is imported into Adobe Premiere, it's up to you whether you want to view it in the list mode or the icon mode. Personally, I switch back and forth between each one depending on how I'm editing my projects. Obviously, you don't need the icon mode if you're looking at your audio files. So utilizing the list mode and properly labeling all your audio files definitely is beneficial in this mode. The last method I'm gonna show is using the media browser window in Adobe Premiere. And from there, you're gonna go ahead and open the media browser window. Click on the hard drive and where your footage is at. Go ahead, click on the folder. You can either go to individual audio clips or you can go back just to the entire folder itself. Right click and click import. And there they are. We'll go to the list mode. Those are the audio files. This is our media browser. I rarely use the media browser method just because it's an extra window you have to have open in your editing system. Personally, I like the drag and drop method the best, but whatever suits you is up to you. Finally, let's touch back on file management. It's important to have your media organized before you import it, and I'll show you why. If you happen to change the location or the file name of some of your media that you've imported, it will disrupt the media that's inside your editing system. And there, you're gonna get the big red missing file screen, which nobody likes that. I'm gonna show you an example. Let's just say I moved it to a new location and that's where I want it to be at. Now, inside my editing system, it's gonna see missing media from these clips, and there it is. Now I have to go and locate it in case I changed the location of it. So in here, we're just gonna click locate. We're gonna to go to our poker clips folder, and there is our file that we need. Click OK, and voila, it's all synced back up. But ultimately, you wanna avoid this by managing your media. I hope these tips and tricks help you in importing your footage and keeping your files organized when editing. Now ultimately, these drag and drop and import methods are ubiquitous among other editing systems as well. We just happen to be using Adobe Premiere. Thanks again, and stay tuned for more tips and tricks. Subscribe for more tips and tricks, and keep an eye out for new videos to help you in your filmmaking endeavors.